Alright guys, how y'all doing? Uh, first thing I want to say is happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Um, <clears throat> hope it's a safe, happy, and enjoyable one for you. Um, as far as I go, <clears throat> it's going to be a house full of people. I'm not looking forward to it, but I just got myself in football all day and kind of be in my happy place. Um, and... Um, I thought about dropping this on Saturday, but I figure eh, tonight wasn't that bad. I'm still fairly with it, so um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the November Blu-ray blowout right now. Um, because even with... Even with four days left in November, um, I don't see myself buying any more before the month changes. So this is just as good a time as any to uh, drop the blowout. And I uh, hope y'all enjoy what I got. And um, thanks again for the support. And with that said, let us now get into it. Pick up number. One and two are Bad Boys with Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, the 20th anniversary edition. This is the loaded with uh, special features. It's got um, music videos, commentaries, um, making of documentary, and I think that, yeah, that's it. Um, tra oh, trailers too. It's got trailers. One, two. Let's see. One, two, three. Three music videos, a documentary, an auto commentator, audio commentary, and the trailer. That is uh, the original Bad Boys 20th Anniversary Edition. Of course, came with that. What came in that box also was Bad Boys 2. Also, Martin Lawrence, Will Smith. Um, this is the first time that Bad Boys 2 has been on uh, the wreck. So I was really happy when I saw that they were going to release them together. And um, I pretty much had this um, marked from the day that it was announced that this set set was coming out. It's Bad Boys 2. Um, this one had, Bad Boys 2, it says it has, um, over two hours of special features that include deleted scenes, uh, production diaries, scene breaks down, scene breakdowns, a Jay-Z music video, uh, stunts, visual effects, and the, um, theatrical trailer. So, really, can't wait to sit back and watch these, and, um, just kind of go back to 95 and 97 and just kind of relive all that stuff. Um, that's kill That was killer. All right, next is the one that I intended to get and put in the October haul, but um, USPS um, fucked up my shipment, and Amazon ended up having to send me another one. Um, and I didn't even find out about that until they sent me an email. So apparently this happened um, somewhere in transit to me. But uh, they sent me another one. Um, so I said, well, I'll just include it in the November haul. And that is Pixels. Uh, you got Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Michelle Monaghan, uh, Peter Dinklage, I think is how you say that, and Josh Gad. Um, this has special features too. This has um, a Cubert uh, um, mini game that you can play, um, game on music video um, featuring Good Charlotte and Wake Up Like a Flame. Also has um, Blu ray exclusives, um, Creator of the Machine feature at um, The Space Invader. Pac-Man, Donkey Kong, Centipede, and Galaga. 
features on the different things that are featured in the movie. Haven't watched this yet, but um, it's going to get a, it's in my um, reviews pile, so it's going to get a Mikey go to the movies at some point. Just not sure when, because I have a lot of those to do, and it's trying to find time to do them all, so um, that's Pixels. Um, next is, because I am a completist, um, the new Terminator movie. Um, Terminator uh, Genesis, with, uh, this is classic Arnold. <coughs> Coming back for this one. And, let's see, it does have some special features. Uh, let's see. Uh, family Dynamics, uh. Casting the film's characters, um, termination and inflammation, um, about shooting on location, um, and upgrades to the visual effects on Terminator and Genesis. Um, again, I'm a completist, so I wanted to pick this up, and I want to see it. In, I wanted to see it anyway after so many years, um, and um, jury's still out on. If I want to do a might go to the movies on this, so if anyone wants to see one, let me know because the jury's still out. I may end up doing one anyway, but for right now I don't know. That's the uh, Terminator Genesis. Next up, we have the Jeff Dunham special, Unhinged in Hollywood. Anybody knows me knows I love Jeff Dunham. Um, I have been a fan of his. Ever since um, I was turned on to him, and it pains me to say this because it's going to feel like acid coming out of my mouth. Ever since Daria turned me on to him, um, yeah, God, that didn't taste right. Um, and, uh, you know, I've liked him ever since. Um, my favorite character is probably uh, Ahmed or, um, or Walter, um, just because. Um, Ahmed's crazy, and Walter's just an old curmudgeonly bastard that everybody knows. Everybody knows somebody like this, so, um, that's him. Um, there are some special features on this disc. Um, it comes in uncensored or family-friendly, or family-friendly, easy for me to say, versions, um, greeting from Hollywood, and a greeting from Hollywood and mashup by really, uh, a great DJ, DJ Steve Porter. Um, he's done some work with ESPN, so I know his, I kind of know his work a little bit, but uh, that should be good. Can't wait to can't wait to watch that. And it is so that's that unhinged in Hollywood. Some Jeff Dunham goodness. <coughs> then. Um, we got the nine disc um, Hobbit trilogy, um, the extended editions. Now I was gonna get the original uh, 15 disc version of this, but it wasn't the extended editions. And I have a friend that works at Best Buy in Tennessee, and he told me that just just wait for a month or so, and they're going to release the, um, the, uh, um, extended editions, the same set, so, um, I did, and here we go, so it's got all three movies, it's nine discs, it's the nine discs, tons and tons of special features on this, guys, um, if anybody wants me to do a review on, um, the set, um, let me know, um, cause I'll definitely, um, I would definitely do that for you, but it's nine discs, got tons and tons of special features, and they're the extended editions, um, so that's the Hobbit, um, extended trilogy, put that right there, alright, now these last nine are, um, I got them in a set, it was like a bundled set where it came, they all came shrink wrapped together and like taped together so like they didn't get messed up. Um, bunch of Marilyn Monroe movies. I know what you're thinking, Marilyn Monroe, good lord, you've lost your mind. 
No, I haven't. I am a movie buff, so, like, if something's good, I'll, I'll watch it, or if somebody recommends something, I'll at least watch it. If I think it's good, I'll say it. If I think it's bad, I'll say it. Um, but I've always kind of liked Marilyn Monroe. Never really seen any of her movies, but I've heard a lot about her, so I saw this uh, nine movie set for cheap, or what is considered cheap, I guess. I paid like $53 for it. Well, it, it listed for like 225 or something like that, and I paid like 53 so uh, we're going to go through these. And by the way, I checked, there are tons of special features on these movies, guys. There's only like one or two movies that don't have any special features on them, so that's okay. That's cool. Uh, so the first one here, we've got Some Like It Hot with uh, Jack Lemmon, Tony Curtis, and of course, Marilyn. Lots of special features. Uh, audio commentary with Tony Curtis. Um, archived interviews with uh, Jack Lemmon. Commentary um, by Paul Diamond. Or Paul Diamond. Um, who is, I guess, the son of L.L. Diamond. And the screenwriters. Um, a documentary on the legacy of Some Like It Hot. Uh, the Look Back a look back documentary, um, Memories from Sweet Sue's Featurette, um, Virtual Hall of Memories, and a theatrical trailer. So there are a ton of special features on this disc alone that make it awesome. But there are special features on all of these except for like one or two, I think. Next we have, um, Gene Peters, Joseph Cotton, and of course Marilyn in um, Niagara. Again, haven't seen these, but it's Marilyn Monroe, so I'm going to pick this up because I like good movies. Um, there's a trailer on here. Oh yeah, it's just a bunch of trailers, so a bunch of trailers for her movies. So that is Niagara. Next, we've got Bus Stop. Um, again, another, I haven't seen this, so I haven't seen any of these, so um, that goes without saying. There is a theatrical trailer and just a bunch of trailers on this one, too. So there's trailers on this one. Just a bunch of trailers on those last two. <sighs> then you got Clark Gable, uh, Montgomery Clift. Or Cliff and Marilyn, of course, in The Misfits. Um, this one doesn't have any special features at all, no trailers or anything like that. Um, but this is iconic because it's um, Clark Gable and Marilyn Monroe's last screen, like last roles before they die. So that'll be interesting to watch. <clears throat> Uh, lose my stuff. Hold on. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. Next we have uh, Tom Ewell and Marilyn, of course, in the Seven Year Itch. Um, this one has special features as well. It's got a commentary. Um, by author Kevin Lally, who is Billy Wilder by Augerfer. It's got an isolated uh, score track. It's got the Hades Code picture in picture uh, with sexual innuendo meter. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, it's got um, an interactive timeline for Marilyn Monroe. Uh, it's got a Wilder and Monroe. Um, Intersection of Genius documentary. Uh, it's got a uh, documentary, or it's got the uh, Fox Legacy show that they did on this movie. It's got deleted scenes. Uh, it's a Hollywood Backstories documentary on the Seven Year Itch. Um, theatrical trailers, still galleries, and uh, Fox. 
something something or others. I don't know. Um, on the seven year itch. So there's a bunch of special features on that one too. It's a seven year itch. Awesome. Y'all know I like my special features. Okay. Next. Now this is one I've actually heard of. Never seen it, but I've actually heard of it. I shouldn't say that. Um, I've heard of um, something like it hot as well. I've just never seen it. She generally prefer blondes. It's um, Gene Russell and of course Marilyn. And then it's got um, theatrical trailers, of course. And it's got and a special feature on, I guess, one of the shots there, how it was done. They put them in semen, the two lead actresses in semen. Okay, next we have uh, Marilyn and Robert Meacham in um, River of No Return. Okay. And this has just got a bunch of trailers. Okay. So there's not really anything there. Um, we've got Irby Berlin's. Um, Picture starring Ethel Merman, Donald O'Connor, and Marilyn, of course. There's no business like show business. Another one I've heard of, just haven't ever seen. And of course, on this one, too. Surprise, surprise. Just trailers. And last but certainly not least is. Um. Marilyn, uh, Betty Gable, and Lauren Bacall, great cast there, in How to Marry a Millionaire. Again, this is one I've heard of, never seen, so I'll be interested to uh, watch these and uh, just enjoy them. Um, special features here, um, original trailers of course, and then there's a documentary on the movie itself. Um, but that's not much, so, um, that is How to Marry a Millionaire, and together, that puts us at 17 pickups for November, um, kind of a lighter, um, lighter haul, but I found out I'm coming into money soon, so, um, the December haul between Christmas, my birthday, and stuff I just get for myself, we gonna go ham sandwich with extra mayo. Um, so prepare yourself, cause I'm gonna have to train for that video, cause it's gonna be a while. <laughs> I can already tell. Um, and with that said, I'm going to say peace, love, and all that other stuff. And I, thanks again for listening and supporting my creativity. And uh, I love y'all. And I will talk to you all soon. And have a happy and safe Thanksgiving, guys. Love you. Peace.